When doing a Zoom session with your students, you may want to show them a Google Slide presentation in full screen. However, if you use the present mode in Google Slides, the presentation takes up your entire screen and you can no longer see your presenter notes on or your Zoom windows. This video will demo how to set up your screen so your students can see your slides full screen while you retain the ability to see your slides, presenter notes, chat, and any other um, anything else you need to see while you teach your session. This video assumes that you are working on one screen. While some of you may have a second monitor, many teachers have only one screen, and this video shows you what you can do in that situation. So here I have my Zoom session already running. I'm logged into my computer, and I have a, um, also logged in on an iPad and a Chromebook. And this is where you would see all of your students um, when they're logged into your session. While I'm teaching my session, I want to view my participant list, and I also want to manage the chat. So let's come down here below the meeting window and open up those windows. So I'll click on chat, and it opens here. And then I'll click on participants and here's my participant list um, above my chat. Notice that these are merged to the actual meeting window and I want to um, remove them. So click on that little down arrow and choose pop out. So I'm not actually removing them. I'm just separating them from the um, main meeting window. I'm going to do the same thing with chat, pop that out. And what that, that, that does is it gives me the ability to resize these and move them around. Notice on the chat window that my font size is nice and big. So uh, it makes it easier for me to, to monitor the chat if I have that larger font size. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Come over here to the video, um, next to the video here. Click on that up arrow and then choose video settings. Then scroll, look down at the very bottom here and click on accessibility. Notice the chat display size can be changed right here. And I have mine set at 200%. So that makes it easier to read at the chat window. Now let's prepare to share our presentation. I'm gonna open my, uh, I have a slide presentation open here. And instead of clicking present, I'm gonna click on the arrow next to that and choose presenter view. This opens um, a presenter view with a preview of your slides as well as notes over on this side. There's also a timer here, which I'm gonna pause right now. Let me switch to another. Okay. Um, there's also some audience tools here that you can play around with on your own. You can increase the size of the font of your notes here with these um, the plus and minus sign. You can resize the entire window and you can also resize one side of the window or the other. So simply put your cursor here in the bar in the middle and then drag left and right to resize that. Now, since I'm seeing a preview of my slides here, I really don't need to see this full presentation on this side. But let me show you a couple things here. When we went into presenter view, it um, enables some presenter tools down here. So this is where I can go forward and backward in my slide presentation. I can also click here to go move directly to any slide. There's a, um, a pointer option here. You can just play around with these things here. Now we're ready to share our screen. So I'm going back to Zoom and I'll click on share screen, but I have to make sure I choose the right screen. I definitely don't want the whole desktop and I don't want the presenter view. What I want is the one that is just the slide presentation itself. So I'll click on that window to highlight it and then click share. Now, on my screen, there's this green outline. Only the part inside that green outline, only the actual um, presentation is being viewed by my students. 
So even though it looks like these other windows are overlapping on the um, the spread the slide presentation, students are only seeing what's inside the green and they're not viewing these other windows. I can take this and actually resize the green window, make it a little bit smaller on my screen. My students still basically see mostly full screen. And I say mostly full screen because in this view, students will see the URL up here and any additional tabs that you might have open here. So you can see I have no other tabs open. Um, so when I resize this, students are still seeing full screen. Now I can move my windows around however I want so that I can focus on the chat while I'm doing the presentation. And actually, I no longer actually have to look at that. I can move back over here to present view and I can see my notes here and the preview of, of the slide right here. So I can click from here to go to the next slide and the students will see this now in full screen. I can click to the next slide, they'll see this in full screen and I have my notes here for every, um, every one of the slides. To close up the video presentation here, I'm going to switch cameras and show you the student view um, on a Chromebook and on an iPad. Here is the student view on a Chromebook. You can see that she's viewing the presentation nearly full screen. The webcam shows up above there and she can have the chat open along the side. Here's the student view of an iPad and you can see that the presentation is taking up the entire screen. The student can click on the controls here on more to view the option to open the chat.